Hello, let's take a look at building motion graphics with ClojureScript, Reagent and SVGs. These are some different motion graphics demos I've built using ClojureScript and Reagent and SVG technology. The great thing about this approach is you don't need many dependencies. Just a web browser and ClojureScript with the Reagent library. Reagent itself could render SVGs into the DOM with no problems. All right, let's take a look at the demos. The first one here is just some animated circles. Inspecting the DOM, we can see that the page is just one large SVG element. And within that SVG, we have groups, and then inside the circles themselves, with the radiuses transforming over time to provide the animated effect. The closure script source code for these circles is reasonably straightforward. You can see the circle SVG element, and we have this timeline utility, which is an atom updating with the JavaScript timestamp. The speed of the circle animation is determined by this division here, and everything is wrapped in this SVG group. Common styles are applied, and a transformation moves it into the center of the page. Finally, the animation itself is achieved by simply modifying the radius along a sign function, with the inner value t being taken from the time. And so the effect is we get these circles with the radius changing on a sine wave. Let's look at a more complicated example. This example renders some complex shapes and paths. And in the hex plane example, we're testing interactivity. Each of these hexagons is a sub-element within the SVG. And as we mouse over it, the element changes. Looking at the code of this hex plane example, you can see it's very concise. The hexagon paths are rendered using this simple function. You could break things like that out into a separate library and then reuse it across different projects. This orbital transformer interactive is a little bit more complex. And when you click the main circle, interactivity happens. The unfolding animation that we saw is handled by these different blocks here. When you click on the circle, the unfolded time is stored. And as that time increases, different blocks are activated until finally the full shape is shown. Similar interactivity is shown in the logo unfold demo and this second logo unfold demo. All of these animations are just generated using SVGs which update with a timeline that starts when you click. This menu example has two phases. The first phase opens up the menu, and then once it's open, you can hover over these different boxes to see different alternative animations above the line. The final hex pop-out demo could be useful in a game as a context menu or something like that. To me, what's really interesting about this is just how concise and expressive the code is. The combination of hiccup forms with SVG and time-based changes to render animation is a really powerful one. Some possible applications are 2D games, user interface and data visualization, and in general, storytelling and communication. I think it'll be interesting to see a game implemented with this technology. On the topic of games, performance is an issue. But as you can see, for many classes of simpler 2D games, SVG rendering is more than good enough. Examples would be simple roguelike games, card games, puzzle games, and in general, any game not requiring a ton of entities all moving on the screen at once. You can find the source code for these demos on my GitHub at chr15m slash motion. And it would be cool if more people built motion graphics and video games using ClojureScript, Reagent, and SVGs as the base technology. You can find the demo linked from the GitHub page, and I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching.